This is the third and final uh, video on this series of this lizard. The first one was strictly the drawing. The second one was the ink wash. And this one is the glazing. Glazing is when you take your color and thin it down into watercolor consistency and just color over, color over the top of it. This is the best way to make uh, pictures with the right values because you've already done the underpainting. It's called an underpa underpainting technique. And once I do my glazing, um, I'll, I'll go back over with some more highlights. Uh, with me today is Cheryl, my, my paleo and, what do you call it, P paleontologist? <laughs> no, but... And since <laughs> I did a bunch of the lizard facts in the last two videos, this time we're going to go with dinosaur facts because I think that dinosaurs are lizards. So, uh, Cheryl, give me a dinosaur fact. Okay, so dinosaurs were around in the Mesozoic era which I guess is referred to as the age of dinosaurs. It says, during this era, there were three different periods. They were called the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous periods. And Cretaceous Park didn't have the same ring to it. Okay. Next. Jurassic, Jurassic Park, yeah. Which probably one of the, one of two movies that we ever stood in line to see. Okay, uh, fact number two. The Stegosaurus had a brain the size of a walnut. That's a pretty big body for just the brain the size of a walnut. It was considered likely to be the dumbest dinosaur with a brain the size of a walnut measuring three centimeters long. Uh, fact number three. So, uh, the longest dinosaur was over 40 meters long. How, how long is a meter? Three feet? It's approximately three feet. Yeah. Um, it says here, some dinosaurs swallowed rocks to help grind up their food. You know which ones those were? The ones that were kind of like cows? I don't know. They were the uh, the, the big ones with the big old... Oh, I know what they're called. Brontosaurus? Like the, actually, I don't think Brontosaurus is actually a thing. The sauropods. Oh, sauropods. sauropods. Sure, sure. Okay. We should rehearse this before we do it. <laughs> okay, and uh, what looks interesting here? That's too, too hard to pronounce. The word dinosaur was coined by an English paleontologist. Sir... So Richard, Sir Richard Owen came up with this term in 1842. 1842. So, uh, what's, fact number nine. So, so far, there's been 108 species of dinosaurs that have been discovered in Britain alone. Just Britain alone. And the last of our ten facts is Cheryl. They became extinct when an asteroid hit the Earth. So, do you think that was the one that hit the Gulf of Mexico? Um, you know, I just go with what I'm told. Right. I, I didn't go out there and dig it up myself. Right. So, I'm going to have to go with the experts on that one. Yeah. Okay. So I think another interesting thing, we've been to, in Nebraska, there's a park called Ashfall um, National Park, isn't it? Is those, it a national park? State park. Those aren't dinosaurs. No, I know. But it was a an extinction event. Was it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Because that was ash from probably the Yellowstone supervolcano. But it just, it killed a bunch of rhinos. Right. I don't think it extincted them. No, but it was a big event. Did you know, here's a factoid for you. This has nothing to do with lizards. Did you know that camels are not... Uh, indigenous. To Egypt or Africa? They're indigenous to North America. To Nebraska, because I actually went out to a sand pit one time with these guys from... Uh, uh, the right University here in Jefferson County, right? What, right, University of Nebraska, uh, with the museum they have here. And the right. guys were digging through the rocks, and they dug up some camel teeth. It was so cool. Like, how did, I asked him, how did you get camels in Nebraska? And they said that's where they started from. So camels are indigenous to Nebraska. And interesting fact, the University of Nebraska in Lincoln has this very cool museum um, called Morrill oh. Hall. Um, and it's more of a, it's more of a, a mammal museum, I guess. They do, but, ha they do have a couple of plastic dinosaurs right 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 but it's very cool it's very cool so and one of the things that i was researching for our vacation this summer is um dinosaur national monument in utah um this is the point of the game where i need you to like and subscribe and bang the bell and comment and stuff um i've glazed this thing all up i put my white highlights with thick white paint and this thing belongs in a museum itself <laughs> and i will sell you this picture for a million dollars i have paypal Cheryl has Venmo. Right. So all you got to do is, is we'll send us your info, and we will sell this to you. We'll even put it in a frame for you. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Thank you.